if you are planning to go shopping this morning, you might want to think twice before buying a box of chocolates. Well, earlier this week, a tweet by an ITV journalist went viral when he said his quality streets weren't up to scratch. Stephen Hull dubbed the tin Inequality Street and said he'd found just four, four purple chocolates compared to 11 orange ones. I'd be happy with that tin. You like the orange, don't I'd you? I prefer the orange ones, yeah. It left many wondering if they were being shortchanged. So we asked Alice to investigate, which is why, and you've had this all Am set out, your store set out all morning and said, don't touch, it's all You've been really surveys. strict And who are the two morning. people who have touched? You two. Well, You're the only, only two that have come only and from the, the, the pile you said we could. How can you not do that? Look at this. I oh, know, I know. Slightly, the OCD in me has come out. And yesterday, I went to the shops, bought a load of tubs and laid them all out on my dining table, said yeah. to my children, do not touch, to investigate this very, very important work. Right. Uh, Hugh so what, what, himself what looked out? at it. Um, well, I found out that it's not in Equality Street. There are more of one flavour than another, but that's how the balance goes. You will only ever find four purple ones in one tub. Really? You will find four green triangles in one tub. You'll find about four of the milk chocolate blocks in one tub. And then way up the other end, when you get into the big numbers, you get eight of the orange creams and eight and of the do strawberry they do delights. That? Because they know that you'll buy another tub so you can get some more triangles. The people of Quality Street are sort of on a par with Father Christmas. They don't have such devious thoughts in their heads, Holly. Right. No, they don't. They... It's actually... What, it's they a, haven't done the research? It's a weight thing. Do you know, at this time of year, they're churning out 12 million chocolates a day. It's Most a weight thing. their factory in, in Halifax. It's yes. a weight thing. No, surely the orange ones are cheaper to make than the ones that have got a real nut inside. Oh, I'm not sure that it is. The purple ones have got a certain kudos. So, um, um, they can only put a four of them in a tin. It just makes it more special, doesn't it? If you have a tin full of... I ordered last year a tin... Did you just eat one? She's you eaten a fudge. <laughs> You've eaten a fudge mm. and you shall go to hell mm. for that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's harsh. I know, it's Christmas and get your hands off my chocolates. <laughs> so when the tins, when the quality, first Quality Street tin came out, it, oh, you are a little tinker, aren't you? <laughs> You in, can't uh, stop me because you can't reach me. In the 19... <laughs> I can throw things at you, though, can't I? In, 19, in the 1930s, there were 18 different flavours. Now there's 12. And there's a certain element of special about the, the purple and the green because... And I have a This Morning exclusive for you right here and now. Last night, Mrs Quality Street herself told me, of as of last night, the nation's favourite Quality Street. Which is? So, in at number six, we have the Toffee Finger. Oh, yeah. OK. And then in at number five, we have the new guy on the block, the caramel swirl. Sorry. Nice, that. I know. Um, and then number four, we've got the orange cream. Okay. Then, yeah, that's your... Yeah. But the, then... the, the coconut is my favourite. Oh, OK, oh. but that didn't come in the top six. Then we've got the strawberry uh, delight. Then the green triangle, and at number one, pot pickers everywhere, is the purple one. So, of course, they're going to have fewer of those because they're the favourites and they're special, and once they're gone, they're gone, I'm afraid. So, but what a lovely joy it is to What about up. other companies, then? Because it's not just Quality Streets, there's other things, Celebrations, Heroes... There races. are, and it's interesting, because look at the ratio in the Celebrations tin. You've got uh, 12, 14 Milky Ways there to just six Twix. I mean, that's an imbalance, if ever there was it is, one. Isn't it? Twelve Snickers to six Maltesers. I mean, it's interesting. Oh, sorry, there's eight in that tin. But let me just tell you, they all cost four pounds in my local Tesco's. And in terms of weight of chocolate, you get many more in your celebrations. You get 650 grams of unwrapped chocolate, whereas in Roses and Heroes, you get 600 grams of unwrapped chocolate. Oh, there yeah. you go. Very good. Any other My work facts you here want to impart? Or uh, is your, it's all, your, all finished? Uh, nearly. Did you know Quality Street was a play written by J.M. Barry? Was a play? Was yeah. it? Yeah. No, Before he wrote after? Peter Pan. Yeah. No way! Way! What was it about? It was about two sisters. 
Who ate chocolates? No, nothing to do with chocolates. <laughs> well, why did they In the name 1930s. It off that and it kept coming back into production. It was apparently quite popular. Oh. I'm sure Jack, our floor manager, can tell you even more about it. But yeah. Oh, well, there you go. That I did not know. But you are now, you're now finished oh, with this. Stuff yourself with them. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> take that one and that one. Thank a you little, very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. you can as many as you like. <laughs> so keep chucking them. It's great. <laughs> uh, Set by your phones and have your password ready because we are placed <laughs> to win right after this. <laughs> Oh, what? Oh, no! <laughs>